Hello, my friends. This is Jay in LA. JD Madhab, digital marketing guru in Los Angeles. I uh, I have a client here. Actually, I'm revisiting a former client. Um, when I used to live from when I used to live here. Uh, they're Root Law Group. They're an immigration law firm um, in the SAG building, SAG after building, on Wilshire Boulevard in West Hollywood. Anyways, they are. Um, this actually was. This is going back um, a number of years, but they do. They do great work. They're like I said, an immigration law firm. They do great work. They have great people working there. They have a very high. They they are um, a little selective of the cases that they uh, take on, and it's their prerogative to be that way. And but the, but partly as a you know because of that, they have a result of um, a pretty high success rate of successes in getting their clients immigration visas, green cards, citizenship, and so on and so forth. If anyone is not familiar with that process, let me just put it to you this way. I came into this country from Canada as a Canadian citizen. Hope this puts it in a little bit of perspective for you. Um, and went through all the legal channels coming in as a student, getting a student visa, getting a job, getting work sponsorship, getting a green card, getting citizenship. That process took me 14 years to feel like, hey, I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm at home. Anyways, the point of it is this. Um, as you can imagine, immigration law is a very competitive market in a city like Los Angeles. As cosmopolitan as it is, as highly Hispanic as it is in the population. And what you have to do in order to succeed in a situation like that is to differentiate yourself from competitors naturally, but you need to find your own niche. Okay, you need to find. I'll give you an example. Root Law Group, uh, the principal attorney, is a Russian Jew. So he got definitely a lot of work from a variety of ethnic ethnic backgrounds and certainly Hispanics, but it was also able able to get a lot of work from Jewish immigrants and also Russian um, immigrants, since he knows their languages. Uh, as well. So that's just one example of trying to find a way to differentiate yourself from others even in a very competitive environment and, and and still succeeding in business at the level that you need to succeed at. Um, I've seen this happen so many times and when I say this what I mean is someone start a, a, a new business that already exists according to other people the kind of haters I call them in a very competitive area. I'll just I'll give you one other example. I know people who've come to Dallas and decided they're op going to open up a new Mexican restaurant or Tex-Mex. Dallas has a lot of freaking Mexican restaurants and Tex-Mex. A nine out of ten people are going to listen to your idea and go, "You're crazy. You're never going to succeed. This market is saturated." But I've seen a lot of those businesses succeed, and for that very reason, they don't just become the next Tex-Mex in town. They find differentiating factors. They find a niche audience to serve. For example, the place right down the street um, from where I used to live in Dallas that opened not too long ago um, <clears throat> had a lot of Mexican restaurants around it, and there... But their theme was more Jalisco-focused, Guadalajara-focused cuisine, a little higher price point, a little higher end cuisine from that region of Mexico, drinks and tequila from that region of Mexico. Uh, and that restaurant is, is fantastic. It, it's, it, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's Tex-Mex, it's, it's somewhat authentic. Uh, Jalisco State Mexican food, and it's off the hook. Um, uh, and and there's and they're minting money, minting money. So it can be done. It can be done. You can get into an area where a business that type of business already exists and still succeed. But you got to know how to reach a new audience, how to do things differently than your competitors, 
and how to uh, um, find a niche and differentiate yourself um, from others. Now, that's just kind of general marketing principles. I didn't touch upon how that actually translates into the internet marketing side of it, which is usually the focus and emphasis of my videos. But I keep keep this, you know, giving a couple examples here today while I have them on top of my mind. So um, I'll share some of that information and I want to keep this video short. So I'll share that information on uh, how, to, how, to, how to market a business like that online more tactically in some future videos. Jay Madhav, thanks for listening. Peace out.